Well, here's something else to fix. Towel bar has fallen off the wall, so we'll take it down. And this bracket here needs to be taken off, so we'll unscrew it and remove the bracket. And then we'll take out the wall anchors. Now these wall anchors, they leave very large holes. We'll try to use new anchors and see if we can just pop those in there and be quickly done with this project in 10 minutes or less. So we'll remove the other anchor and put the new one in. The bottom one seemed fine, but I don't know about the top one. So, and then we'll go and screw it in. And it pushed in, so that's not gonna work. So now we have a really large hole, so let's put some putty in there. I've seen this done before on YouTube. And you put the putty in, and then you put the wall anchor in, and um, you hope that it's gonna hold and we'll push the anchor in, we'll put a little extra putty on it, we'll let it dry for 24 hours, clean it up a little bit, and we'll see if this actually works. And it's been 24 hours, so here we go. This time we'll use the drill, and it pushed right in. That didn't work, so here are our options. You could just hang a different towel rack, call it done, fill the hole. Or you could do this. I'm going to take a 2x4, trace it so I know how large I need to make the hole and I'm gonna cut into the drywall until I get to a stud. I'm using a Dremel tool with the oscillating blade and when you hit a stud, you'll feel some resistance and then you can take the little blade and try and mark out where the stud is. You measure out 16 inches away the other stud should be and then I'm gonna cut the top to the stud. And then we'll cut the bottom some more, see if there's a stud closer than 16 inches. But unfortunately, I think it's going to be where the door and the wall meet. And it is. So here are my options. I can get a scrap piece of wood and I can put it up against the wall. And I can cut it open in and slide the wood in there and then screw it to the drywall. I can use that to anchor the bracket that I need for the towel bar. So we'll cut that open in. And we'll slide the wood in, but then I decide to do something else. And so I'm going to measure over. It's about 14 inches away, so a little less, 13 and like 7 8. So I'm going to end up putting this 2x4 in. I'm going to drill these screws at an angle. I'm going to slide that in. Oh, the hole's not big enough. So we'll cut the hole a little bit larger, unfortunately. And once we cut the hole larger, we can get the board in. When we get the board in, then we will screw it in. Now the board's gonna slide back, so make sure that you have the two by four out a little bit and then screw it in, because when you're screwing at an angle, it slides back. Then I'm gonna take a drywall screw and I'll attach it to the board, but then I'm also gonna take another three and a half inch screw, I'm going to drill it at angle to try and hit the other stud and bury that screw in the wall. I'm going to cut a new piece of drywall. This is a scrap piece I had laying around. And I'll screw it in with some drywall screws. And if you want to avoid having to fix any cracks in the future, since there's usually a lot of pulling pressure and movement on this, I like to tape off all the seams, but by taping off all the seams, you have to kind of like chisel out some of the old drywall. First thing I like to do for chiseling out the drywall is to take the Dremel and just score the outside of the wall where you're going to put the tape and just mark it. And then, um, then I'll take a putty knife and I'll try to chisel it out, but if the putty knife doesn't work, then you just end up using the Dremel and you can, yeah, it's, it's a messy job and it's not going to be clean no matter how you do it. So I'm just going to quickly do this and we'll get this ready for the tape and the mud. Whenever using the Dremel, it can be very messy, so make sure you keep whatever doors closed or 
you know, wearing a mask. And then after I'll vacuum out all the area that I chiseled away at, I'm going to end up using some joint compound. I'll put the joint compound in. And once I put plenty of joint compound in, then I'll grab the tape. This is a drywall tape and I'm just going to push it on top. And once I put all the tape on, then I'll end up grabbing some more joint compound. And I like to just put it right over the top. And we'll let this dry for at least 24 hours. I know it seems like a long project, but if you don't have wallpaper and you have painted walls, this is probably the best way to go about putting back the towel bar. This way, it's not going to rip out of the wall. There's going to be a board there. And it's uh, it's just going to hold so well and then we'll sand it after 24 hours and then we'll feel it and see if it needs any more uh, joint compound. I use a thinner joint compound. This is the stuff that's pink and turns white when it's dry. I'll put a thin layer of that on and wait another 24 hours and then I'll sand it again. And then once I'm done sanding, I'll use... Uh, a little, a little block sander as well, and then I'll feel to see if there's any areas that might need a little bit more joint compound. I'll just put it just on those areas, just a very thin, and wait a while, and then I'll sand those areas lightly, grab the block and check them, and make sure it feels smooth. And now I'll wipe it off really well before I add some paint. I like to just use a paint with a brush. Later on, I'll use a roller, but to get the paint on there nice and thick, I like to just cover everything so that I'm not painting the walls three times. And then the next day, I'll put a little bit more on using a roller. And then I'll let it dry. Then I'll try out this new uh, kit that I got for hanging photos and I'll tape it on there. It's magnetic, but it'll probably work better just by taping it on and I'll line up the towel bar. I'll get the level out and I'll push it against the wall and it'll make a little mark so that I know where to drill the hole. And we'll put the bracket back up. And we'll put the other screw in. And then we'll hang the towel bar and we'll check to make sure it's level, just if it needs to be. And yep, it looks good. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos and also subscribe. It'll keep you up to date on all my future videos. And leave a comment on what you liked or what you didn't like or what you'd like to see me work on next. Or leave a comment on how you would have done this differently. Thanks again for watching.